What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've got some really important advice for you and you should all be aware of it because I did see a few people was like wondering what happens with our buffs from the arena. People are thinking it's only for arena and some people are saying that you should, you know, arena isn't like huge in a game. Well it is, it's massive, it's massive and this is why. Let's go to tier attributes, tier attributes. Now look, just, 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 just. <laughs> Okay, bronze free obviously get nothing, right? But this is why it's so important for everyone to push their rank as much as they can. Available for all. What this means is all content. The whole game. Every single bit of content. So that means all of your, your, your tower, campaign, everything. Dungeons, just a whole lot. The only thing that you get bonus in Arena from this is health increase. That's the only thing you get for Arena. So, I mean, look, these these increases are massive. They're massive. They go up 1% for attack and defense rate each rank and 2% for every rank of um, health rate. You know, and by the end, by the end, a 30% increase for all content on health rate. 15% for attack and defense rate. It's massive. It's massive. And this is why Arena is so important. Because your rank can really push on everything in game for you. Absolutely everything. So you push up as high as you can. And another thing as well is, you know, a guild arena. It's very important to push for king as fast as you can at the start of guild arena. Because it actually increases your stats throughout that entire guild arena event. As long as you register when you have king, it's going to count for guild arena. It's going to count for guild arena. So and that's that's another big factor as well. Uh, as long as your team's been set, it doesn't matter if you drop down from king after. It's when you set your team. It's when you set your team. You can theoretically, for guild arena, you can set all your gear on heroes, set the team, then remove it, r remove your gear, and they will still have that gear on for the guild arena that time. Same goes for regressing. If you was to have a hero in the guild arena team setup. Um, and then you regress that hero. That hero is still going to be inside the guild arena. Um, so it's massive. Like everyone should be really pushing this. It's, you can see for yourself the, the figures making everything so much easier for you. So if a lot of you have been struggling and you haven't been pushing your PvP. There you go. There you go. It's going to make a huge difference to your account. I know people set easy teams for the events and drop down to farm more books. Um, and that, that's 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 the way to do it. Another fact: you think of all of the the, the ranking, and then you think of the, the the class talent increase. It's ginormous. It's ginormous. So this is how, you know, if you're thinking, well, what am I missing? What what am I missing? Like, why? How are other people able to be clearing this content, and you can, even though your stats kind of match? This is probably part of the reason. If you haven't been pushing your arena, um, you know, we get reset each week as well. So, you know, just, 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 just push to what you can. Okay. You know, it makes a huge difference to your account. You, you can see that now. You can see that. And I hope that, you know, a lot of you watch it and, you know, t tell your friends that it is, it does cover all content. It covers all content. The only thing it doesn't cover is the 50% health rate increase in arena, which everyone gets from bronze one. So on that note, have a great day or evening wherever you are. Take care.